next we have uh, Lorema S. Garcia. The title of presentation is Environmental Sustainability Assessment of Drive Through Mahogany Mandate Forest. So to everyone here in virtual room, to organizers, speakers, presenters, guests, ladies and gentlemen, hello and mabuhay. I am Lorena H. Garcia, an assistant professor in Laguna State Polytechnic University, San Pablo City Campus, and doctor of business administration student in San Pablo Colleges, Incorporated, Philippines. It is my pleasure to present to you my research paper about environmental sustainability assessment of drive-through mahogany man-made forest. So in this slide, let me walk you to the mahogany man-made forest. So it is one of the destination attractions in Dolores Gezon, which is identified as faith and wellness desti attractions, destination by the Department of Tourism. So it is composed of 1,500 mahogany trees from Department of Environmental and Natural Resources, planted in 5.1 hectares during 1990s by Piping Rubico. The mentioned man-made forest offers nature trekking, horseback riding, camping, film tourism destination used for religious activities and there is a provision for zip line. The objectives of the study is to determine the sustainability in terms of economic, physical, and social aspects. Second is to know the intention of the respondents to revisit the place. And lastly, to test if there is a significant difference between the assessment when grouped by profile variables. In terms of methods, it is descriptive in nature using structured questionnaire which was guided by Forest Instrument, a framework for sustainable forest management, which includes 25 national policies and measures, and the goal number 15 of United Nations 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, which is to protect, restore, promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems and European tourism indicator system. The respondents were chosen using convenient sampling. Data gathered were analyzed and interpreted using descriptive statistics, specifically frequency count and percentage method mean and standard deviation to measure the profile and the assessment. Furthermore, analysis of variance and t-test is used to determine the significant difference. As the results in terms of profile of the respondents out of 62 respondents 51.6 are male with a population of 32 and two of the respondents refuse to say their gender majority are college graduate with the age of 18 to 22 and with monthly income of 10,000 below monthly and most of the respondents are single so in terms of the environmental sustainability assessment as shown in the table, with regard to physical aspect, all indicators have positive response and interpreted as agreed as indicator one, that the highest mean of 3.68 and verbally interpreted as strongly agree, that the place promote positive environment ethics. Regarding economic factor, respondents strongly agree on the opportunity to develop and improve its services from the fees collected to tourists. In respect to social assessment, respondents strongly agree that the place is socially sustainable and the first indicator, which is the provision to improve the quality of life in the community through collaboration and cooperation. Concerning respondents' intention to revisit, 58.1% or 36 of the population express they're likely to revisit and 40.3% express they are very likely to revisit the place. With respect to tests of significant difference as shown in tables, physical to age, 
education and income, it is resulted to not significant, similarly to economic, social, and intention when grouped according to age, education, and income. More so, test of significant difference between male and female assessment on physical, economic, and social is also not significant. Thus, test of significant difference between single, married, on physical, economic, social, and intention, only the intention to revisit is found to be significant since majority of the respondents are single and they express their likelihood to revisit the place. Also, it is supported by the statement of Yolal and Negor 2012 that young tourists and students are motivated to travel or visit a destination for pleasure while middle-aged and married tourists are attracted in visiting a site for relaxation. So to conclude, the drive through mahogany man-made forest is assessed to be environmentally sustainable in terms of three factors such as physical, economic, and social. So the place has a positive collaboration between the community, natural resources, and the stakeholders. Livelihood opportunities are evidently available to improve the quality of life in the community. Social factors like providing satisfaction to re visitors, residents, as well as promoting its culture seems to be sustainable and expressed through the likelihood of the respondents to revisit the place. So, based on the salient findings, of the following are recommended. Cross-sectional study on sustainability when pandemic end is recommended to barred respondents and to come up with deeper analysis. Conservation plan and preservation policies may be developed to establish its sustainability, not just for drive-through mahogany man-made forests, likewise to other attraction in the municipality. Furthermore, additional activities that can cater to different ages and personalities of tourists. Lastly, supplementary study on other attraction in the destination is also recommended. So for this study, the following are the references used. So that would be all for my presentation. Thank you very much. Again, mabuhay. Um, thank you very much, uh, Lorena and Garcia, for presenting very nicely.